Hey, Eddie Bash. It is the 26th of January, 2019. And of course, I see this stuff at the end of the day. But I just want to throw this out there for your consideration. Because when I saw this stuff, it kind of set off a little alarm bell in me. Um, and I can't really tell you exactly what it is. But it is to do with the Rothschilds, okay? The Red Shields. The Bankers. The Federal Reserve, okay? The money system. The end of an era. They're, they're cutting ties with the Austrian Empire. Now, you might think, oh, that's just old school and ceremonial, but it's not. It has very deep history, and it's it means something, okay? And we recently had Lady Rothschild, uh, Jacob's wife. She uh, conveniently passed away, so you could link these two together. But in my spirit, all I saw was this is a restructuring uh, undergoing here to get ready for their new world system that we all know is coming. It's coming. The, the financial system of this world is a joke. It's literally just fake. Okay, look at your money. I mean, my goodness. And so, to me, it signaled that they are readying themselves, basically, uh, for this financial move. But it may very well be accompanied by or uh, led by a, a, quote, terror attack or something to set off, you know, some chaos, if you will. Um, but it's coming. That's the bottom line is this, to me, just shows that this, this, these evil powers and principalities that work through these people are, are setting themselves up, are positioning themselves, because the time is getting closer and closer. When God is going to do his mighty work, and Satan is going to do everything in his power to fool everybody into believing it's him doing mighty works. Okay? You can't forget Rothschilds, the Jews that say they're Jews, but are not. And all the evil we see coming out of Israel these days, that, that is not the Israelites. No way. I mean, this is the synagogue of Satan. They, they say they're Jews, but they're not. <laughs> they lie, okay? I mean, let's just face it. Independence Hall, where they claimed their independence in 1948, sits on this grand boulevard called Rothschild. I mean, why? Why are they on Rothschild Boulevard? And you can see this very same thing in Jerusalem. I'm just showing you these things because this is what's behind it. This is, this is how they're putting together their new world order. It's just the way it is. And it's about to be uh, unleashed, I guess you could say. Let me see if I can find their Knesset right there. That's where they have their, their government in their Supreme Court building with the pyramid on top of it. And, and look what runs right through the middle. The Red Shield Boulevard. Right smack to the Ministry of Finance. Okay? You understand? This is how Satan has led them. And they believe that they are going to eat of the tree of life without judgment. And they're going to take down as many of these of, of the people in the world as they can with them. They'll deceive as many as possible. So you need Jesus Christ. You need to be in Jesus Christ. And you need to be in his word and in prayer. Or you will be deceived. That's just the way I see it. And when this calamity starts, which it will, um, you need to be ready for it. You just do. And so I share this stuff, you know. Could could mean nothing at all. But we know this stuff is coming. You know, we could ignore these things, you know. Is it just, a oh, coincidence, you know, Lady Rothschild dying, and them cutting their ties with the Austrian Empire? To me, that's a very, very big deal. And so, you know, I share this stuff. I'll leave links, you guys. Peace and grace to y'all. And fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against 
spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 